My name is Ed Cox. I'm director of IPPR North. Um, <clears throat> the devolution that we've seen in um, England over the past 12 to 18 months has been a really important and positive step forward. Um, the fact that many cities and indeed other areas like Cornwall are receiving new powers uh, has the possibility of really driving economic growth, reforming public services and enhancing local democracy. So it's a very big and important step forward. But the way in which devolution is happening um, might not be uh, the best way in order to achieve those outcomes uh, that many people expect. I think there are a couple of problems that we can identify. First of all, um, the sense on the part of um, local government and combined authorities, those that are negotiating these deals, um, is that um, the whole system is tipped in favour of central government and they are very much bidding to central government rather than the mature deal-making arrangement that I think many people uh, feel would be a better approach. Secondly, there's a real sense that um, the deals have been done in secret and uh, to that extent um, the public um, who it's really important are on side when it comes to the devolution of powers um, are uh, worried, cautious uh, about the kind of deals that are being struck and the way in which they're being struck. So there are some problems with um, the process as it stands. But I think um, today's report and the Commission have suggested some really important ways forward. A couple of examples. First of all, we argue that um, cities and combined authorities need to be able to share their good practice in terms of deal making. Um, it doesn't mean to say they all have exactly the same deals, but um, we think it would be a good idea if uh, cities work more closely together to um, understand what their case might be for devolving certain powers, but also in the delivery of those powers. And secondly, we think that cities themselves, and in particular the mayors as and when they're elected, need to do a lot more to engage the general public, to persuade them of the value of the devolution that, they've been, that, that has been seen, and indeed to ask the general public about the kinds of powers they'd like to see at the local level. So I think there's a big exercise uh, to continue with this process so that it doesn't get stalled, um, but also to come up with new ways of working uh, so that it can be more effective in the future.